The Royal Australian Air Force C-17 Globemaster taxiing into the Jacksons Airport in Port Moresby. On board, much needed ballistic or bulletproof vests and helmets for the local security forces to use in the election. We did uh, send out a request uh, through the mission and of course uh, the right mission um, for, uh, for PPE in this, uh, not, we're not talking about COVID. Uh, PPEs, but uh, you know, security, uh, military operation PPEs as in the body, uh, body armors and helmets. The support is part of the country's former colonizer, Australia's contribution to PNG in the election. The, um, um, the cost of supplying the 3,000 vests and helmets uh, is in the vicinity of $10.5 million Australian uh, to have the uh, equipment purchased and transported to Papua New Guinea. So, as Commissioner said, it is a significant um, investment. Uh, and this equipment is very difficult, unfortunately, to get um, in the troubling times around the world. So, um, yeah, thank you to uh, the Australian government and the Australian Defence Force, by the way, who helped us. The 35 tonne worth of support was brought into the country from USA. There's a important role in this country for the security forces and the leadership of Commissioner Manning and the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary to ensure those elections are as peaceful and safe as possible. And that's why we've agreed to provide this assistance. The partnership fostered between the two countries through the Australian Federal Police and Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.